Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. So I wanted to show you the website sharedcount.com. So exactly as you see it spelled up here, sharedcount.com. Basically this website lets you uh, look at how many shares and likes and tweets and Google Plus Ones you have on a specific website URL. Now this could mean an individual blog page, an individual blog URL, or just your main website homepage. So I'm gonna show you the example. A lot of people were doing this wrong and saying that they were getting no shares, but in reality, here's what you have to do. See where it says enter your URL. Enter it like the following. So see how I'm, if I'm doing tizish.com, at the very end it has to have this slash mark at the end. All right, because if you do that, then it'll go. If you don't have it without the slash, then it won't show up properly. So be sure to have the slash at the very end of it. And then you'll be all set. After that, just go ahead and hit submit and you'll see your results come up. Another quick item just to share, I'll go ahead and hit submit. Another quick item to mention on this is uh, when, when you see the Google plus one counts and shares, you have to understand that that you may not see, so right now I see how it says plus ones, 60. You may not see all of your plus ones because this plus one count is tied to the uh, people that are in your circle. So let's say that, in let's say I really have 80 plus ones, but then but I'm only friends with 60 of them, that, that uh, in, I'm only circled with 60 of them, then that likely was why you're only seeing 60. So that is it may or may not be the case but just uh, just be sure just try checking and uh, trying to see how that works if you happen to see a low plus one count if you do see a low plus one count then then definitely just address it with our t with our TZ plus marketing group alrighty so that's pretty much everything that's how you use this properly just make sure you put the slash at the end of your, of your URL alright good luck take care